My name is Tom and welcome to my shop. Don't you hate it when you're cutting shim pieces that they fall into a little groove here on the saw or at the back of the dust area or you got to find them all but I'm going to show you how to stop that by making a jig. Stay tuned. I've made a trim shim jig to fit into the Kaizen Miter Fence Pro Plus system. I, I like to make four inch shims. I like the grain to go toward the blade. So I'll cut it out of scrap window sill material, one by six base, one by eight base, anything scrap on the job becomes trim shims. And uh, I'll use this board or a board like this, set the saw at a half degree, and just go to making saw test. I've installed the jig on a Kaizen Miter Fence Pro Plus using the Armor Tool Auto Clamp. To hold it in place. Now let's cut some trim shims. Now, see how easy that was? I can make them as thin as I want or thicker. Depends on what I need it for. You know, when you're installed base and you got a wall and the base just looks like it's following down the wall crooked, you can go through and straighten those up so the eye doesn't see that. Um, it'll be hidden by the caulk at the top of the base. Um, same thing with the crown. If you see the crown going in and out, you can use these and send them up in areas to straighten up the crown. Great for fitting miters in the corners because you could cut perfect cuts, but you're dealing with walls. So these are your best friends. Believe me. Thanks for watching.